cue the Indiana Jones or Star Wars themes, you could even throw on the classic Blade Runner soundtrack because we're about to profile the homes of none other than Harrison Ford. He sure has been in a ton of great movies, hasn't he? I know. Not only has Harrison been in a bunch of great movies, he's also lived in a bunch of stunning homes from California to New York and more. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. This actor, producer, as well as occasional pilot and carpenter has done it all in Hollywood since getting his first big break in American graffiti. From there, Harrison Ford launched one mega franchise after another and became Tinseltown's most popular leading man. In fact, he accomplished so much so quickly that by 1983, he was already capable of putting down $1 million on his longtime home in LA's Brentwood neighborhood, a nearly one acre estate which he would live in for the next 30 years. But in 2011, after beginning a relationship with television star Calista Flockhart, these two decided to swap out homes in Brentwood, trading up to an even more expensive property not far from his first. Of course, a rugged dude like Harrison can't be caught spending all of his time in California sunshine. This means when he's on the East Coast, he kicks up his feet in an epic penthouse in downtown New York City. And when the call of the wild strikes him, he's also got an 800 acre ranch that he can decamp to. Hey guys, it's Kara, back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. And this one looking at where Harrison Ford calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. In June of 1983, right when Harrison was in the middle of a three picture run that started with Blade Runner, carried on to Return of the Jedi, and ended up with Temple of Doom, he somehow found time in his busy schedule to drop $1 million on a country colonial home in LA's Brentwood neighborhood. Set high above the street just below the famous Getty Museum, this house was originally built in 1951 and encompassed 7,164 square feet with four bedroom suites and a total of eight bathrooms. There was also an additional poolside guest house plus two additional detached guest suites. This gated estate boasted a long driveway that climbed to a large circular roundabout with a nearby two-car garage. Around the exterior, you'll find gardens, brick terraces, and flat lawns draped in shade. As for the inside, it's perfectly proportioned with polished wood floors, extensive built-ins, paneled walls, and beautiful moldings. I mean, what other kind of house would you expect a one-time carpenter to live in? Interior spaces included a large informal living room that was classic, comfortable, and clean. There was also a wood panel dining room that could come across as stuffy, but the casual furniture helped to bring a chic feel to it. Nearby, the Eden country style kitchen was clearly fit for a chef and while the family room was cozy. Additional rooms like an office, wine cellar, and detached workshop provided Harrison with all of the space he needed for whatever activity he felt like taking part in, whether it was reading scripts or sanding down some wood. In his one-time master suite, it boasted a calming neutral palette, high ceilings, some stunning views of LA from a master balcony, a beautiful sitting area, and an attached bath. Out back, there's more than enough space to kick around a soccer ball as well as an in-ground pool that would be perfect for cooling off in. Harrison would spend the better part of his adult life living in this home, but after ending his second marriage to screenwriter Melissa Matheson and moving on to Callista Flockhart, he decided to move on from this home as well. He put it on the market in 2012 and sold it for a reported $8.2 million soon after. He and Callista wouldn't move far away from here, however. In fact, they more or less just moved down the street. In September of 2010, Harrison Ford and Callista Flockhart dropped $12.65 million for a recently built mansion that's tucked away into a secluded section of Brentwood's rustic and notoriously expensive Mandeville Canyon area. This cedar shingled colonial revival boasts a massive 13,767 square feet with a total of seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, and six fireplaces spread throughout. There's even a detached cottage out back with a screening room and a guest suite. 
The property sits behind an electronic gate that glides open to reveal a large motor court that spreads out in front of the house, as well as an attached three-car garage. The house is structured around a central courtyard that softens the transition from the parking area to the warm and luxurious spaces of the interior. Entering through a vestibule, you're greeted by a grand double-height foyer that also boasts a second-floor gallery. Formal public rooms include a wood-paneled library, as well as a ballroom-sized living room with an exceptionally wide planked wood floors, a wood-burning fireplace, large windows, and a series of French doors that open up to a covered outdoor living area. Then, the dining room has a view of the backyard through multi-pane windows, as well as more French doors that stretch from wall to wall. At the very front of the home, you'll find a giant game room, and not far from there is a colossal center island in the middle of the eating kitchen with marble and mahogany countertops, top-grade appliances, and white glass shaker-style cabinets. Cabinets. The kitchen connects to a glassed-in breakfast room that in turn opens up to the patios and terraces that run along the back of the home. Here, you can also find a swimming pool and spa. Upstairs is yet another family room that boasts a small window fitted into its vaulted ceilings, while the celebrity-style master suite has a bedroom, private sitting area with a fireplace, a nearby paneled office with balcony of its own, and a luxury attached bath. All in all, I can see why Harrison and Calista decided to trade up. This place is spectacular, but it's still not the only home that these two still own. In October of 2001, Harrison shelled out around $5.29 million for a 5,644 square foot penthouse apartment on the top floor of the New York City building known as City Prairie. He then hired an architect firm to work over the interiors of the new downtown crib, which already offered views to die for with its exposure on all four sides of the apartment, something that's a real rarity in New York. With the firm's help, Harrison turned this penthouse into an open plan layout with four bedrooms and four bathrooms. By taking a private elevator up to his apartment, Harrison can step off and immediately find himself in the midst of a vast living room and dining area that stretches nearly 50 feet in length and more than 30 feet wide. Just off of the living room is a library that can easily be closed off to the main area by an oversized pocket door. Meanwhile, floor-to-ceiling built-in bookshelves cover the entire back wall. The condo also includes a gigantic kitchen with custom wood cabinets, soapstone countertops, commercial-grade appliances all clustered along one wall, and a less formal eating area that acts as a sort of hub for the rest of the apartments. There is even a small den off the casual eating area that has built-in cabinets and sits between two good-sized bedrooms, each with an ensuite. The master suite, on the other hand, is set along a narrow wing that extends off of the kitchen, not far from which is also a small home gym. Other features include poured concrete floors with radiant heat throughout, UV protected windows and a discreet staircase near the front entry that climbs up to a terrace wrapped pavilion leading to a 2,300 square foot private terrace. Last but not least, we're heading to Harrison's favorite place of all, his ranch in Wyoming. Sometime in the 1980s, Harrison picked himself up an 800-acre ranch in the state of Wyoming. And while pictures of this place are few and far between, this is actually the home that Harrison likes spending the most amount of time at. Located in the town of Jackson Hole along the Snake River, this estate allows Harrison and his family to get away from the world and enjoy some quiet private time. When discussing his discovery of the home in his biography, Harrison stated, I think we all get something set in our heads early on, and the first time I saw Jackson Hole, I said, this is the place that's been in my mind all the time. While filming Frantic in 1988 with Roman Polanski in Paris, Ford sketched out plans for his Wyoming retreat and would fax them each morning to the hired contractors carrying out his ideas. The resulting structure featured flawlessly executed cabinets as well as windows that framed some truly stunning views of the surrounding majestic nature. Once Harrison was done in France, he returned home and helped the contractors finish the property off, including building a guest house and a large barn that now doubles as his workshop. In fact, over the years, Harrison came to develop such a connection with this place that he donated around half of the estate as a nature preserve. What's more, he also lends the community his piloting skills whenever he can. And he's been involved in providing emergency search services, including the time that he helped find a missing Boy Scout in Yellowstone. Lawson was a 13-year-old Boy Scout when he got lost hiking near Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming.
Most importantly, Harrison prides himself on his ability to live a normal life out here in Wyoming. He told Parade, Being normal is a kind of victory. I'll fix the fence, repair a piece of equipment, or plow the driveway if there's snow. There's always plenty of work to do. I'd say so. After all, whether he's shooting a movie in LA, living the sweet life in New York City penthouse, or finally in his comfort zone in Wyoming, Harrison Ford always finds a way to keep himself busy, and his many homes have a big part to play in that. All right, everyone, that's gonna bring this Harrison Ford house tour to a close. Be sure to let me know what you thought about his homes in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.